Hey everybody, I'm Adam. And I'm Phoebe. And we're from In the Great Wide, and today we're here to talk to you about Drake's seat in, I almost said Maggins Bay. That's not in Maggins Bay. No. It's on St. Thomas. <laughs> So Drake's seat is in St. Thomas, which is in the U.S. Virgin Islands, just outside of the town of Charlotte, Amali. Uh, it's about a 20-minute cab ride uh, from the cruise port, um, and we actually went as part of our our uh, Royal Caribbean excursion. So we went in an like an open-air bus kind of thing with some other people. Um, so it was really nice, actually, because we got from, to enjoy the nice weather. Yeah, all from our ship. It was mm -hmm, everybody the together on, yeah. on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was great. Uh, it was really great. Drake's seat is the rumored lookout of Sir Francis Drake, mm -hmm. the uh, buccaneer turned pirate. Uh, he technically hunted pirates, then he kind of became a pirate. I don't know. Um, a lot of legends about things back then that weren't true. So yeah. Uh, he would sit at this place and watch Maggins Bay for the Spanish Armada to come in mm -hmm. so he could then direct his men to attack them. Um, this However, it might, might be not true. be true. <laughs> There's no actual Maybe. proof that he ever did this. But uh, that's the story. But that's the story. And I think part of it came from the man who actually created Drake's seat, the area and what you see now, mm -hmm. which is a bench with some... Uh, concrete and, and stuff. Right. It was actually in 1933, it was built by Arthur Fairchild, who was a Wall Street tycoon mm -hmm. and former president of the New York Stock Exchange. He owned most of Maggins Bay before gifting it to the people of St. Thomas in 1946, mm. right after Christmas in 1946. Mm. Um, and he was very specific to say the people, not the government, um, because he wanted to be an open land. He owned a bunch of the stuff. I think he had retired there and he was very much loved St. Thomas. Like he loved the town. He loved... Or, he loved the island. He loved the people. Like mm -hmm. it, it was very much his home. Yeah, um, it's a beautiful island for is, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird to me to think that at one point this guy just owned most of it. Yeah, <laughs> like that's weird. It's kind of strange. You know, I know, yeah. I know that rich guys own islands and stuff, but it's St. Thomas. Like that's yeah. weird. You know. Yeah. Um, but it's a really popular yeah. spot. It's so it's essentially just like a lookout point. Like you go there and you have spectacular views. Um, but it's a really popular stop for yeah. cruise ship passengers. So if there are a lot of cruise ships docked in Charlotte Mali that day, then there's probably going to be a fair amount of people up there. Um, but it's really just like a quick stop on yeah. your way yeah. to somewhere else, you know, just to enjoy the views for a few minutes and then you're back on your way. The most interesting part about it is that it's thinking about the fact that Sir Francis Drake could have been looking down mm -hmm. on Maggins Bay and thinking how it could have been 400 years ago. Like that, yeah. that's interesting to me. Uh, and I think mm -hmm. most reason, well, part of the reason that people go up there. But yeah. when we stopped, there were at least three or four other taxis, like the mm -hmm. same size as ours, uh, big open air taxi that stopped yeah. as well. So, I mean, there were, it was really hard to get clear pictures without having a ton of people in them. Mm. Um, but, yeah. you know, you're there to look and, and, and see nice, beautiful vistas. Yeah. And the taxis, they, or at least the one that we were in, like really was moving, he, <laughs> like up and down these mountains, really, you know? He really so, knew how to drive. Yeah. Uh, it was crazy how much he went up and down, just way yeah. faster than I was expecting for a big open air taxi. Open air like, taxi. It was, uh, yeah. it was fun. It was, uh, it was an experience, <laughs> for sure. If you get motion we sickness, time, just but... be very aware, just be careful, yeah. I, it, you know. Uh, usually then I just would just be say, prepared if you get motion you know, sick. Just drink more, it's fine. <laughs> How um, do I make it worse? <laughs> the regular taxis, because because we were on a, uh, a Royal Caribbean excursion, mm -hmm. uh, they specifically knew how many people were going to come. So right. my guess is the other taxis won't necessarily be like that. Yeah. Um, but, the, you know, this just happened well, to be... Who knows about the drivers, you know? Shifting you may still be flying. 60 people, that's true. <laughs> my guess is yes. <laughs> Um, but it was really great. The view of Maggins Bay is amazing. Uh, getting able to see the Atlantic and the Caribbean at the same time mm -hmm. is incredible. Yeah. Um, I mean, the views were absolutely spectacular. Yeah, definitely worth it to go for like a quick stop. 
um, on your way from Charlotte Amali over to like Maggins Bay or something like that, like we were doing. For more stuff to do in St. Thomas, um, hit the subscribe button below um, and check out our St. Thomas playlist here on YouTube. We will uh, link that at the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching uh, and we will see you next week.